the next generation of Pokemon is Generation 10, and nobody knows exactly where it's going to be based on. If you don't already know, every single Pokemon region is actually based off of a real-life place in the real world. So, with that being said, where will Generation 10 take place? A lot of people have their theories, and there are also a lot of, like, hints within Scarlet and Violet that could be referring to Generation 10, because Pokemon, Game Freak, they like to hint at future regions of Pokemon. Like, they put in, like, little pictures or colors, or it could literally be the smallest detail ever that we may not even notice until Generation 10 comes out. Like, so in Diamond and Pearl, apparently there was a set of flowers that were white in the original game, and then when Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, the remakes came out, those colors of those flowers were changed from white to scarlet and violet, which is obviously re referencing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that came out the following year. And Generation 10 is already in production. Like, Pokemon games, well, pretty much every single game in general takes years to produce, so... They've already written the storyline, apparently it's been leaked that, like, I'm pretty sure the storyline is complete. I may be wrong about the storyline thing, but, um, apparently the starters are all complete, the designs of the starter Pokemon, and I'm pretty sure most Pokemon within Generation 10, their designs are already complete. We obviously don't have any pictures or any leaks of any of the actual Pokemon because there's no data that we can find out there, and it's still a few years ahead. Like, Generation 10's not coming out this year, it's probably not coming out next year. Probably the earliest release that I could see that would be possible would be 2026, because 2026 is also the 30-year anniversary of Pokemon, which is wild. I just remember the 20th anniversary like it was yesterday in the 25th anniversary. Well, 25th anniversary really was not too long ago, but 30 years of Pokemon in 2026. That is insane to me. That's only two years away. So, within Scarlet and Violet, we probably already have some hints as to what Generation 10 is. Like, there's probably pictures or dialogue or there's got to be something in the game. So, a lot of people think that Generation 10 is actually going to take place in Australia because in the Academy's art classroom, there's a painting that looks like Uluru, which is the giant sandstone monolith uh, that's in Australia. And it's a, it's a painting of that just like on the wall. I'll have a picture on the screen. So, could that be a hint not every single picture on the wall is going to be referencing another pokemon game like while it could still be another region in the pokemon universe you know maybe it'll never come around like maybe we'll never actually see that maybe one day they're planning on doing a desert australian type of themed place but that's what is in the academy's art classroom which is pretty cool I think Australia would make an amazing Pokemon region, though, because Australia is, like, really diverse. Like, there's deserts, I'm pretty sure there's forests, there's oceans. Like, there's a lot to Australia. There's cities. So, I think, like, a region could actually be extremely, extremely diverse for a Pokemon game. I would, I would honestly be down for an Australian region. <clears throat> Another huge place that people think that Generation 10 is going to be based on is Italy. So, in the home, like, your your home in Scarlet and Violet, there's a painting called Street Midday that says it's a different region in the Pokemon world that doesn't really look like anything we've seen. So, could this be a future region? I mean, I guess if, it, if, the, if the dialogue literally says it's based on a different region, I guess that kind of confirms maybe one day we'll go to Italy. Could be Generation 10. I think Italy would also be really cool. I think the architecture and the style of italy is is really cool so i could see generation 10 going to italy i would probably prefer australia over italy i think i'd prefer australia over anything to be honest but italy seems like a cool choice i mean there are literally like hundreds even thousands of options they can go with and another cool thing is like they could they don't even have to do a region based on like a current time they could do a region based off of some country in you know the year 500 where everything is completely different the architecture the history the the way people were back then you know the styles so they could literally pick and choose from any point in time in history and around the world to choose a region to base a pokemon game off of i know that africa was also is a pretty big fan wanted pokemon region I think that would be pretty cool too because Africa has so many insane wildlife. I'm pretty sure that's pretty diverse. I mean, a lot of it is like desert, but there's also more diversity to Africa. Africa is huge, so there's definitely a lot they could do with that. Like they could also do 
India, Egypt. I think Egypt would be really awesome as well, just because of like all of the insane monuments and and things that have been built there, like the pyramids, the Sphinx. There, there's so many things that they could do with Egypt. I think it's really cool to try to guess what they're gonna do with Generation 10. I think still overall everything. I think over everything though, I still would love Australia. I just think Australia is like the most diverse and unique place that they could do that they have not actually done yet. A lot of people say they want a United States themed one, but I what I think of that as like uh, Gen 5 being based in like New York City and everything. And then I feel like if they did a United States one, they'd have to pick and choose like specific places in the United States because the United States is also really diverse and some parts are really boring. Some parts are really, really cool. I don't know what we'll see. I'm pretty sure they've also done Japan four times, I think I saw online. Like, they've done a Pokemon game by, based on Japan four different times, which Japan's awesome. Uh, but a lot of people don't really want them to do any more Jap Japanese-themed or based regions because we've seen it so many times. But it'll be really cool to see what they actually base the region on now. And it'll be also cool to see, like, what hints have been in Scarlet and Violet that we we just don't even know, know yet. Like, we are, either haven't noticed or couldn't really confirm or like just see the whole big picture i guess you could say like i'm sure that there are quite a few things in scarlet and violet because every single pokemon game i'm pretty sure has like some type of hint a lot which in a lot of things just can't in which a lot of things just don't get to like fully realize until later because we don't know you know what the generation is actually even based on also greece greece would be a crazy place for pokemon region as well Greece is extremely, extremely unique. The culture is really, really interesting. And I think that would give us some cool regional variants as well as new Pokemon, of course. And the Greek mythology as well. I think Greece would be a perfect place for a new Pokemon region. I'd say Australia and Greece would probably be my top two. And the cool thing about like Australia or like Greece, and if we get a Pokemon game based on those areas in the real world, it'd be cool to see what the DLC would entail because there's so much, there's so much to like every single region around the world. So like every single DLC would, would hopefully bring in some more to that. Like the Scarlet and Violet DLCs were really awesome because we had two entire separate parts. One going back to the Innova region, and then we got Kitakami, which are two really awesome areas to explore. So let me know what you guys think. Of course, nothing is confirmed. These are not leaks or anything. These are just like little hints and references that we've seen so far in Scarlet and Violet. Hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.